Okay, here I have a water leak in my main water line. And I'm gonna show you guys the proper and correct way of doing this according to the water company. Seen some videos that show putting compression couplers or compression type of uh, uh, fittings on the ends, on the outside. No, don't do it. That's temporary. You want something to be permanent for a long time. This is the correct way, okay? First of all, you're gonna need a propane torch for plastic, yes. And here's my pipe, the other end of the pipe. I have my stainless steel clamps ready to go. Don't wanna tighten them yet, just keep them a little bit loose. That side also. Get yourself the proper pipe. I used 160 PSI, which is the minimum amount allowed. They want you to go probably more, but 160 is the minimum, okay? Make sure you get 160 PSI piping. Plastic, if you have plastic. Here in the end, brass. Has to be brass. Couplers. And they have to be barbed. And you need this part here showing. So when you install it, the water company will look at it, or a plumber will look at it, and say it is done correctly. If you have something that goes inside, a piece of plastic, don't do it. These are only $6, people. Grab it. Two of them. If you, if you have a small leak, do one coupler. Split it down the middle and put this in there. I went with two. So, what I had to do with this is this, this people. Heat the plastic on the inside and outside for a few seconds, not a minute or two. A few seconds with a propane torch. Real easy to use. Heat it inside, going in circles. Heat it on the outside, going in circles. Stick this in till it butts up. Not so that it leave right to there or right to there. It has to butt up. So you put it in there, it's still hot, because it's gonna go in there real tight. But when you heat it up, it'll like slide right in. As soon as you have it in there, you put the clamps on. That's why you wanna keep the clamps on close to it. So when you tighten it down, it tightens down really hard and it's hot. So as it dries or it cools off, it'll conform to the barb fitting. That's how you do it, people. Both ends, same thing, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna show you the rest of it because I have to work on this. It's raining outside from Hurricane Nate or what's left of it. I'm going to use my propane torch, heat the inside here for a few seconds, outside for a few seconds. Pop this in, clamp it down, Wait a few minutes till it cools off, till this plastic hardens up before you even attempt doing this side. Because if you do it while it's still hot and you pull, pull on this side, you're gonna put a hole in the, in the pipe or an indent. We're gonna do this side first. Pop it in, melt it with the propane. Don't melt it, heat it up till it softens up. Pop it in there, tighten it up. Make sure you have all your tools ready for you. Once it's all in, that's all you have to do, real easy. Do not use the compression fittings that on some I've seen. Do not use PVC piping, that's not allowed. Do not use CPVC, use what is recommended. Take a sample of what you have here, the broken piece, whatever, bring it to the plumbing store, tell them for the exact same one. If it's CPVC, well then it is, but no PVC does not sustain the pressure. All right, I hope this video helps. Recap quickly, stainless steel clamps, brass couplers with the nut showing. They have ones with the nut not showing, do not get those. Nut needs to be showing so 
if you ever get inspected, if you sell the house and they ask for this, they will inspect it, they will see it's brass, you'll see the clamps, you'll be all set. If you have plastic in there, you gotta redo it. All right, guys, good luck. Heat it up for a few seconds. Do not heat it up for a minute. You will destroy it. All right? Good luck, people. Hope this helps.